You alright? Yeah, good thanks mate. You are looking good. Hey mate. You are good? You are looking good, you know. We just met with, met with Pass. Um... Hello. <laughs> it's about an hour train. It was a pretty horrible journey. The line cut out about four times. We got stopped twice. <laughs> When he actually stopped at the station, a woman was just pressing the, the toilet door button instead of the open door button. <laughs> and Fox then she looked sorry. at me thinking, why is it not working? <laughs> now we're here, now we're heading up to Germany. Well, we're going all the way down south. We've got 148 miles to go. Um, two hours and 17 minutes, it says. So that's perfect because we want to rock up. Checking in for the train starts at 9.30 get what we need doing done uh, and then also maybe have a, a wee break on the on the way as well but we'll see and then this one here yeah hey, don't, don't start on me already man <laughs> <laughs> I get enough views from past online anyway as it is you've only got uh, like eight days of it you'll be fine he's sobbing quietly in the back <laughs> shit I brought my England shirt I that one off. <laughs> Morgan! <laughs> Welcome to Germany, Mr. Englishman! <laughs> I literally remember sitting in my pants watching uh, LAN yeah. with all the boys on Discord and now it's it's Germany, split two. So I feel like it's come around so quickly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We, you know, we've got to get there first. <laughs> we, we, Maybe it cuts to us we've like, got, in the hospital. <laughs> Going on we've got 600 miles to drive, so maybe, maybe we go Germany. Maybe we just go Belgium. <laughs> maybe we just all sit on the uh, on the on the tablet and watch it in Belgium. Uh, and Peter's like, I think they're coming at some point, but I feel like they're late. <laughs> but we're doing match point, but you're not having starting. You're not having starting points yeah. uh, because now we're doing the again. We're at the first tournament where we're seeing the new drop system. We're also at a position where there's no starting points. So in theory, it's kind of like EWC where it's, because um, EWC was 60 points, but you had starting points. Yeah. Whereas, because we're having no starting points and it's only based on POI pick, I think that we could see some massive changes yeah. because if people have really good groups yes. and winning, uh, winning stage, then you could see teams that aren't necessarily the kind of teams that you would expect to have their pick of a POI. Um, and then obviously with match point, we're kind of in a position where we saw at EWC how many teams got on. With there being 13 games and with obviously us being in a similar situation for the amount of gap that they have to span between, between points, I think we're kind of in a position where we could see any team win. Honestly, I think we would like to win. I'm also a little bit biased, but another EU team. Um, I, don't know, I, think, I don't know who's actually going EU wise. I know Alliance. The ninjas in pajamas didn't make it. Yeah. Did FaZe make it? FaZe made it, yeah. They said they're one of the open, like, coming good EU teams, yeah. which I'd say could do well. Yeah, yeah, I think that. It like, it, 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 well, it, 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 yeah, exactly, and that's the thing, right? It, it depends. I think we'll see familiar faces get into the, to the final day. Yeah. But I think that we'll see um, probably some unexpected high-level positioning. I mean, yeah, I definitely would love to see uh, see a complexity complexity win, and I think they deserve it as well. I think their adjustments and their push in and their 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 style of play. You've got to remember we went through a sniper meta in split one, and uh, Monsoon is probably the best player with a sniper, apart from obviously myself, uh, <laughs> that, that we've actually seen. <laughs> right, um, Brandon. Oh. What did you say uh, about what, half an hour ago? I don't recall any. So, so we were waiting for the train to load, and uh, it was kind of counting down on the on the sign. And uh, Brandon was like, "I've googled it. They don't have toilets on the train." <laughs> I've googled it. And then he said, "I want to stay home. 
Om ono steom. Assalamualaikum. Gue. So it's 8.08, we're about to be run over by a car. <laughs> We've had an eventful sleep. Um, we slept in a, in a parking garage for five hours. Well, Mark slept for five hours. We had about an hour. And um, my backpack's just broken. <laughs> but we did find the uh, floodlight. So, swings around about. So we've now gained an entire Peter, all, oh. all six foot four of him. All of him. Horizontally. <laughs> 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 Vertically, sometimes. sometimes. It, depend <laughs> it depends how you catch him. <laughs> <laughs> we've just had, we've just had breakfast. Um, we're chewing tuna and popcorn, apparently. It's not, it's not regular. It's very, it's very Dutch. That's what we got told. They said that. They said that. Yeah, 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 it's just a regular thing you have with breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. They said they said something like hurdy gurdy <laughs> tradition, and so yeah, that's what we believe now. That's 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 all they eat. We're still waking up. How are you feeling though, Mark? It's uh, very hot. <laughs> it's so hot, isn't it? A lot of sunscreen on. Coffee yeah. was good. Coffee was very good. Nice, refreshing. Very, coffee was very good. Coffee was very coffee. I'm going to say this. Day two, technically day three, uh, because we've, day one was kind of like all over the place. So we were obviously traveling. We set off at 6 p.m. UK, got to Holland at 3 a.m. And then we were able to sleep. Mark was. <laughs> Mark was. I had, uh, I had we, a very nice sleep. We picked up Peter um, and yeah, so now it's day, day, proper day two, I would say, yeah. where we're actually seeing stuff and walking around and seeing stuff. and. But yeah, so uh, let's have a proper look around. So, 6.41, then 
little bit later than normal, than what we would. Brandon chooses to walk on the road, even though it's perfectly fucking fine part. <laughs> How are we feeling, boys? I'm very excited. Yeah? Excited. Very, very, very excited. It's been so long, like, literally any time we were watching any of the boys play on Twitch or anything like that. We were just like, just keep thinking of how good our land is and now the land's come back. This is amazing. Welcome everyone to the Apex Legends Global Series. I'm your host, We The People. Today starts a four day marathon for our 40 teams from around the world. And right here in Mannheim, Germany, this is going to be the greatest land in Apex history. So you better get ready because this is the ALGS. He's sent back to the high ground. You're trying to navigate around the pylon. The hammer points will do nothing. Each solos are the final bosses of this lobby and take map number one. Madness is. They gotta finish this game first. <laughs> and uh, All right. it was just a matter of time here. Madness cheering to the crowd. Play fight. Uh, it's day two. Day one, we didn't get much footage. Uh, I think we were both, well, we were all tired. Yep. I had like two hours sleep. It's eight o'clock nearly in the morning. Busy we're night. going in a bit later. Um, but we're excited. Yesterday was good. It was a 15 hour day though. And that can, uh, that can fuck off because nobody wants to be up for 15 hours. Well, physically there for like 15 hours, maybe even longer. Um, but yeah, so we'll try and get more video today because we didn't get any yesterday. I got a load of establishing shots, so that's nice. But yeah, uh, we just went for the bus uh, because the heat has been absolutely terrible. So yeah, that's why we're doing that. But yeah, sweet. of our lives so far we guaranteed winners and we got one more set so I'm really proud of us to be honest uh, I like in the morning so a little bit later a little bit later start but uh, we can only get in at nine even with a creative badge so getting in at nine um, it's day number three we've just seen obviously group stages get completed uh, there was some some big pop-off moments we've got um, some teams that were probably not expected to get high getting high I think Navi pulled it out of the bag there was a lot of uh, a lot of teams that Oh, a lot of people that were saying Na'Vi uh, washed, uh, my tar face washed. Um, but he's here now, and he's made it to made it to winners. So winners bracket. I think we're ripping. I think losers one first, then winners, then losers two. I think that's how we're doing it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, should be good. Should be a good day. Uh, I think everyone's a little bit tired. The uh, the boys went home. <laughs> the boys went home early. Mark and uh, Mark and Brandon went home early. 
but I don't think that they missed much. There was a there was pop offs on set two though. What um, do you think of uh, the South American team getting this high up? I think it's great. I think it's great. I think they did really well at EWC. So I think if anybody was watching EWC, then they wouldn't have been surprised. Uh, but it's really nice to see them actually pushing forward, especially for the region. I think that the region was probably. Um, after the adjustments coming into year four, I think that the region was kind of seen as something like uh, not really a competitive zone. So for us to then get a region, them presenting the region so well, I think that, you know we should push maybe to see what we can do to go back to how things were. behind him. Here goes the zip line now for our lives to get on the height. But some of the lions couldn't get on the zip line. I don't know if they're gonna make it up. Oh, we have to see here with Exo Clan taking on Makers. A lion swing in. They fully come in onto the high ground and they fully unleash Prowler Net, Nemesis in hand, and the sub ready to go. A lion take game four. With a wall to separate themselves from the rest of the lobby. Oh, the preemptive mobile shield after the oh, EMP. No! Raver and Yuka connects. Yuka. He gets the full two in the chamber, and we need more. Incredible to see how quickly Team Liquid's game can change. One bullet left on this Kraber, and Nate goes out from Yuka. Woo. Complexity still in this, but Fnatic are farming. Fnatic are unstoppable. The EMP too, have to be careful. What's waiting for them on the other side? As Makers now move in, feeling confident. It is only up to Zicky. He had tried to swap up his weapon because he had nothing. And Guild will take that for free. Will take another dub to solidify their position and to find themselves in that finals bracket. eliminations and it was pretty intense um, but I'm thankful that complexity went through thank god because <laughs> my boy Monsoon deserves it no so yeah it's about time that he wins something and I'm hoping he wins finals because it'll be so good for to see him win LG got eliminated which I'm not surprised with Sweet has been off his game <laughs> putting it politely um, but yeah, it was, it was insane. I think it's one of the best ones, elimination rounds I've seen by far. It was really intense. And then we're back tomorrow. We're back tomorrow. Finals. Back tomorrow. I think these finals are quite stacked compared to the rest. Um, Falcon, CSM, Complexity. So yeah, it's going to be good. <laughs> Um, who do you think is going to win and how many games do you think it's going to take to get that I'm, point? I'm going to go for Falcons in eight. I think because we've got rid of starting points and now we've got the POI draft instead, I think that realistically it will run longer, but I don't think we'll go as long as EWC Riyadh. I think that that was, that was ridiculous, but it was effectively the same distance. So, yeah, I mean eight, maybe ten. Ten Falcons? Yeah, probably ten Falcons. Peter? You, Peter? Moist in eight. Moist in eight? Pretty confident. They've been looking dominant like for the past few matches. And it's, it's been very amazing to watch them play and just run through lobbies sometimes. So I'm feeling very confident. Welcome to the ALGS Split 2 Finals. Three days ago, I said this was going to be the greatest ALGS in the history of the game, and today is the day. It's the boys! It's Viria! Gaming Gladiators! Get into the next level! One squad, three wounds! 
across that line. And maybe Light still has a reason to do some damage here in this lobby for the remaining three squads. But look at the shields on the side of Not Moist. Timmy, oh, Timmy! Timmy! He just got absolutely ripped by Nocturnal on that devotion. You have to wonder though, is there an opportunity to push off of it? Nocturnal's trying to swing on it and Nocturnal, he's gonna find two. Nocturnal, Nocturnal with three. That is a play to remember. NRG deny, not moist, but it will open up space for Fnatic to push out here. Fnatic now move up through the Bangalore roll. Trying to take a little bit of height over NRG. Yuka, Suzuki, it's one to go for Fnatic to announce themselves in our match point finals. Nocturno! Oh, Nocturno! This man has put on an absolute show for everybody today. Two more for him, and that puts NRG onto match point. Can you follow it up with a win, though? That's the real question, as now SSG closed it. SSG will move in. Nocturno can't quite pull off a miracle, but they have done enough. NRG will hit match point. SSG, the winners of this game, will hit match point as well. And boy, oh boy, did the chasing pack turn up. Alive, Reptile with even the overshield to help him through this last circle. Is this the moment, though? NRG in a tough position. TSM hailing from the high ground, looking like vultures. This is their moment. Oh, last two teams, we have more games of Apex. TSM versus Bleed.